Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Artsy Trio. This month uh, we're working on this mood board. At least I think, I hope we are because this is the one I've got. <laughs> and I'm going to just cut it out here real quick. If you want a copy of the mood board that we're being inspired by to create art this month, you can join the Artsy Trio Facebook group. And the link for that is in the video description and the other teachers video links are down there also. So I'm going to just cut this out really quick and we're going to glue it on the left side, my left side. And then we're going to create something inspired by it on the right side. Now I already went through real quickly my stash of bits and pieces and stuff and um, pulled out a few things I thought um, I, I just felt like worked with the, um, mood board and I pulled out some washi tape. I pulled out, I have a bunch of these old, are these Diane Reevely or I don't remember who, but a bunch of these little quotes. And then this little, um, clipping of flowers, which is interesting. Um, I think first we're going to put some color down. And let's see, our mood board is all about doing like neutrals, although there's some green in here. Let's see, let's do this color. I like to journal with gouache paints. I like the matte finish because then when you close the book, things don't stick together. Um, I'm gonna put a green, but I'm gonna do an olive sort of more muted, neutrally sort of green. And then, uh, I want a tan. Let me go see if I have one over here, over here, uh, maybe. They're more yellow. I have a beige, um, but that's kind of beige. And then I have this yellow oxide. I think the yellow oxide might work. All right. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to just do what feels right and make some marks. I'm going to dry it with my heat gun, which is right here, very close by. Um, and then we will um, add some, maybe some um, pen marks, some doodles, our bits and pieces, and we'll see where we go from there. I'll be right back.
Okay, quick, simple, easy. Now I do these quick journaling pages these days because number one, I don't have as much time as I used to because we I babysit my grandson. But also because I am these days using art as therapy for me and for my mental health. And for me, that means do less thinking and do more feeling and just create what you're feeling either in the moment because something is going on or because I've I've looked at these mood boards and gone, aha, this is what I feel about that. So that's how I'm creating this. The, everybody takes it differently. You go do you. Maybe use this as some inspiration. Try this technique of just the first thing that catches your eye inspired by the mood board, grab that, stick it on the page. Just Just go by how you're feeling, your gut instinct and create something. You never know. It might be, a you know, some of your best work. Um, some of these I think are. Some aren't, but some are. Anyway, that's it for today. Go check out the relevant links in the video description and um, give the other teachers a like, share, and subscribe. And I'd appreciate one too. The most important thing, of course, is go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.